نحمد ہو و نسلی علیہ رسول کریم اما بعد وی شیل بی بگننگ ٹوڈے ود دی ففتھ سیکشن آف صورت الانبیاء اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولقد آتینا ابراہیم رشدہ من قبل وکنا بہی عالمین اس قال لبی ہے و قوم ہی ما حاضی تماسیل التی انتم لہا عاقفون قالو وجدنا آبانا لہا عابدین قال لقد کنتم انتم و آباؤکم فی ضلال مبین قالو وجیتنا بالحق ام انت من اللعبین صدق اللہ العظیم In the next two sections of this Surah Anbiya, we have a mention of so many prophets and also some of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have been having a list of the names of some of the prophets. We first of all had, and I said that it is a flower pot of the names of the prophets of Allah in Surah Al-Nisa, again at one position in Surah Al-Imran. But here it is going to be a bit in detail. But please be acquainted with two terms of Quran. Just as I have told you that in order to awaken and activate within the human being the dormant consciousness about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Quran either refers to the signs and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. التذکیر بے آل اللہ اور ریفرس ٹو دی ہسٹوریکل ایونٹس بگ ایونٹس بگ ڈیز وین یو نو دی بگ چسٹائسمنٹ کیم ٹو دی نیشنس ٹو ہوم دی میسنجر ور سینٹ اینڈ دیٹ از کالڈ التذکیر بے ایام اللہ ان دی سیم وے دیر آر ٹو ٹرمس ریگارڈنگ دی اکاؤنٹس آف دی پروفٹس اینڈ رسول اینڈ میسنجر آف اللہ ان قرآن One is Amba ur Rusul. Amba is the plural of Naba. Naba is, means a very important news, very big news. Amma yatasalun ala naba il azim il lazihum fiya mukhtalifun. So Amba ur Rusul, under this heading we have the account of those messengers of Allah whose nations were destroyed totally. I have named several times. To begin with, Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam, then Hazrat Hud, Hazrat Saleh, Hazrat Lut, Hazrat Shaib, Hazrat Musa. These six, their accounts are similar. They came to their nations. They called them to worship none except Allah and accept them as messengers of Allah. The nations as a whole rejected and then as a punishment they were devastated. annihilated. But there's another account of the prophets. You know, their personal virtues, their high moral character, their perseverance, for example. So all these things, but not that they came and they demanded that obey me and have faith in me. And if you don't believe me, you will have chastisement, not in that way. The most glaring example was in Surah to Yusuf. In full 13 sections of that Surah, the story of Hazrat Yusuf has been told in detail. But nowhere that matter comes that if the, if the nation did not accept him, well, neither the king of Egypt accepted him as, as a prophet, nor the nation as a whole of Egypt adopted him. So, but they were not devastated, annihilated. Because he never claimed that I am messenger of Allah. So to be a prophet of Allah is something else. And to be a messenger of Allah is something else. So here you will find, you know, the mention of some of the prophets and the messengers also. Every messenger is definitely and necessarily a prophet also. Every prophet is not a messenger. But every messenger has to be a prophet first. And then actually he is selected And then he is assigned a job to a particular place or to a particular people. So here we find, you know, the mention and this account and some of the prophets and messengers of Allah, but not in the form of a Ba'u Rusul, but in the way of Qasatun Nabiyyin. These are the stories of the prophets. 
ولقدات ہے نا ابراہیم اور رشد ہو اینڈ وی ہیڈ گیون ابراہیم من قبل بفور آل دیز وی ہیڈ گیون ابراہیم ہز گائیڈنس وہ کنہ بھی عالمین اینڈ وی نیو ہم ایبسولیوٹلی اس کال علیہ ابھی ہے نا وی ہیو دس مینشن واٹ حضرت ابراہیم سیٹ ٹو ہز فادر ان سورہ مریم آلسو ہیئر اٹ از ان سیکنڈ ان اے ڈفرنٹ وے اس کال علیہ ابھی ہے وہ قوم ہی جسٹ وی کال وین ہی سیٹ ٹو ہز فادر اینڈ ہز نیشن ہز پیپل ما حاضی تماسیر التی ان تم لہا عاقف ہو واٹ آر دیز امیجیز دیز آئیڈلس ٹو وچ یو آر ڈیووٹیڈ یو سیٹ کنسنٹریٹنگ یور اٹینشن آن دیم کالو وجدنا آبا نا لہا آبدی دے سیٹ وی فاؤنڈ اور فور فادرس ڈوئنگ لائک دس ورشپنگ دیم سو وی آر فالوئنگ دیم وی ڈونٹ نو وائی واٹس دی بیسز واٹس دی ریشنیلی وی ڈونٹ نو بٹ وی فاؤنڈ اور فور فادرس ڈوئنگ لائک دس ورشپنگ دیم سو وی آر فالوئنگ دیم کالا لقت کن تم ان تم و آبا کم فیزر علی مبین Now, in very strong words, Ibrahim declared, no, not only you, but also your forefathers, they were in manifest error. They were wrong. Their way and path that they, that they had taken was wrong. Now, they asked him, have you brought some absolute truths to us or you are just joking? میں بھی اے ینگ مین از جسٹ جوکنگ نو آر یو سیریس اجے تنا بالحق ہیو یو براڈ ٹو اس سم ایبسولیوٹ ٹروتھ اور یو آر جسٹ جوکنگ کال ابل رب کم ہی سیڈ نو اٹس نو جوک یور لارڈ از رب السماوات والارض دی لارڈ آف آل دی ہیونز اینڈ ارتھ الذی فطرہ ہن ہو کریٹڈ دیم ہی از دی لارڈ آف دی ہیونز اینڈ ارتھ اینڈ ہی از دی کریٹر آف دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ وانا اعلیٰ ذالکم من الشاہدین اینڈ آئی بیئر اے ٹیسٹیمنی ٹو دس بفور یو دیٹ آئی ڈونٹ بلیو ان اینی گاڈ ایکسیپٹ دی لارڈ آف دی ہیونس اینڈ دی ارتھ ہو از آلسو دی کریٹر آف دی ہیونس اینڈ دی ارتھ وہ تلّہ لاقید اسلام کم بادان تو اللہ مدبرین اینڈ بائی گاڈ آئی ڈیوائز اے پلاٹ اگینسٹ یور آئیڈلس وین یو گو آؤٹ ٹرننگ یور بیکس دیر واز گوئنگ ٹو بی some big worship in the open field just you have in india durga puja or kali mai ki puja they go out in the field to make that worship so the whole city was now empty and ibrahim said well, i am not feeling well i am not going with you when the whole town was empty then he entered the there you know worshiping place where the idols were placed And he broke all of them except one. So he said, Tallahe, by God, by Allah, I will certainly devise some plot against your idols after you have gone away, turning your backs. Fajalahum juzazan. So he broke them into pieces, fragments. Illa kabir allahum. Except the biggest idol. La allahum ilahe yarjirun. So that they should Refer to him. Ask him, who has done this? Kalu, when they came back and they were startled, what has happened? Just imagine if such an event takes place in the city of Mathra or the city of Banaras in India, what would happen? Kalu, man faala haza be ale hatena. Who is the one who has done this to our our lords, our gods? In Nahula mina zwaale mean, verily is a very big culprit. He is an evil doer. Kalu samir na fatan yas kurohum. Some people said we we heard a youth. He used to mention them. You kalu lahu Ibrahim, and his name is Ibrahim. He is called Ibrahim. He did use to mention them. Kalu fatu bhi ala ayur nas. They said okay, bring him forth before the eyes of the people. La Allahu ya shadun. So that they also bear witness. Kalu anta falta haza be ale hatena ya Ibrahim. And now they asked before that mob is there alone. The mob is there, and how angry that mob have would have been we can imagine. 
حالو انت فالتا هذا بياريتنا يا ابراهيم او ابراهيم هاف يو دن ذس تو اور جودز اور ايدلز قال بل فعله كبيرهم هذا فسلوهم ان كانوا ينطقون هي سيد ذس ذس بيجر ون ماست هاف دن ذس هي سيف اول ذا اذر ار بروكن سو يو اسك هيم هي از ا ويتنس هي ماست هاف سين هو هاز دن ات اور مايت بي هي هاز دن ات بل فعله كبيرهم هذا فسلوهم ان كانوا ينطقون ناو اف ذي سبيك ask them for rajau ila anfusihim now this is the moment when the truth dawned in them so they turned to themselves and said wa qalu innakum antum zalimun the truth of the matter is that actually you are the evil doers what ibrahim is saying is correct they can't speak they can't move this bigger idol could not have broken all these smaller idols impossible they can move they can talk and this one cannot tell us who did it and then we worship him them so the truth dawned on them but then summa nokesu ala qulubihim but then they were made to hang their heads down saying laqad alimta ma haula yantaqur oh ibrahim you know these idols they can't speak qala fa ta'buduna min dunillah ma la yanfa'ukum shay'un wa la yadurrukum He said, "Then you worship besides Allah. These things, who can neither give you any profits, nor they can do do you any harm. Uffil lakum. How disgusting! How disgusting! Uffil lakum. Walima taabudun min dunin la. And these whom you are worshiping besides Allah, afala taqtilun. So don't you ponder? You don't you think about it? Don't you understand?" قالوا حرقوه they decided and said now burn him wansuru alihatakum and help your gods because he has done this insult to the gods so now he must be burned alive in kuntum fa'ilin if you are going to do something but when he was thrown in the fire qulna we said to the fire qulna ya naru kuni bardan wa salama ala ibrahim o fire be you a coolness and safety for ibrahim because fire is under the command of allah subhanahu wa taala so any command of allah subhanahu wa taala to fire or water or air these elements of nature have to obey wa aradu bihi qaidan fajalnahum al-akhsarin they had devised a plot against him but they were the worst losers why actually they thought that when ibrahim will be presented and there will be fire you know big and when he will come to understand that he has been going he he would be thrown then you he will come to his senses and he will apologize and he will turn back to the beliefs of the community but ibrahim you know he persevered although he was thrown but allah subhanahu wa taala saved him wa najaynahu wa lutan ila al-ard allati barakna fiha lil alamin but then ibrahim made hijra he migrated from this country actually he was born in iraq in ur but now when the the nation you know they are, they actually put him the, in the fire to burn him now he had to make hijra from there this is the rule with the messengers of allah wana jainaho and we rescued him ibrahim wa lutan and his nephew lut ilal ard allati barakna fiha lil alamin towards the land which we have blessed for the people of the world wa wahabna lahu isaq wa yaqub nafila and then we bestowed upon him a son Ishaq alayhi salatu wassalam wa Yaqub a grandson Yaqub alayhi salatu wassalam nafilatan in addition wa kullan jalna salihin and all of them we made very righteous people wa jalnahum aimmatan yahduna bi amrina and we made them the leaders and guiders of humanity who used to guide people with our command 
وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْهِمْ فِعْلَ الْخَيْرَاتِ And we send them by revelation the good, how to do the good deeds by قَامَ الصَّلَاةِ and establishing of the prayers وَإِتَعَ الزَّكَاةِ and paying of zakah وَكَانُوا لَنَا عَابِدِينَ And they were, yes, they were, they were worshipping us and they were all obedient to us. وَلُوتًا آتَيْنَا حُكْمًا وَعِلْمًا In the same way to Lut also, we gave the judgment and knowledge. وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْقَرِيَةِ الَّتِي كَانَ تَعْمَنُ الْخَبَائِسِ And we rescued him and delivered him from the city, from the township, whose people indulge in very foul and filthy deeds. Sodomy, you know, that was the bad deed of these people, of the cities of Saddam and Gomorrah. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَوْمًا سَوْئِنَ قَوْمَ سَوْئِنَ فَاسِقِينَ Verily, they were an evil people, transgressors. وَادْخَلْنَاهُ فِي رَحْمَتِنَا And then we admitted him, Lut, in our mercy. إِنَّهُ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ Verily, he is from amongst the righteous people. وَنُوحًا إِذْ نَادَى مِنْ قَبْلِ And just mention Nuh, alayhi salatu wa salam. When he had called to us, called upon us, فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ Then we responded and we answered his call, his prayer and we delivered him and his family مِنَ الْكَرْبِ الْعَظِيمِ From the mighty distress. وَنَسَرْنَاهُ مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا And we helped him against those people who had belied our revelations. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَوْمَ سَوْئِنْ They were also a very wicked people. So we drowned them all together, all of them. وَدَعْوُدَ وَسُلَيْمَانِ And here again is the mention of Dawood and Sulaiman, alayhim as-salatu wa salam. The son and the father. Dawood is the father, Sulaiman is the son. إِذْ يَحْكُمَانِ فِي الْحَرْسِ إِذْ نَفَشَتْ فِيهِ غَنَمُ الْقَوْمِ When they were judging, you know, a dispute regarding a field, a farm, wherein certain people's sheep strayed, pastured and destroyed. إِذْ نَفَشَتْ فِيهِ غَنَمُ الْقَوْمِ وَكُنَّا لِيَهُكْمِهِمْ شَاهِدِينَ And when they were judging, they were giving their judgment, we were listening and we were present over there. You know, a person came with a complaint to Dawood alayhi salam salam. Well, there was a field which I cultivated and my, you know, harvest was ready. But the sheep and goats of this person, they entered it during the night and destroyed the whole of the field. Now what should I do? How to recompense? What should be the, you know, fine? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a, an instantaneous insight to Hazrat Sulaiman He was young. He said, now this should be done. The flock of the sheep and goats should be given to this person whose field has been destroyed. He should keep them, eat of them, drink their milk. And this field should be again cultivated by the person whose sheep are here. When the field is ready again, harvest is okay, then the field will be given to the owner of the field and the flock of the sheep and goats will go back to the, to the person who owned them. So this judgment was very much liked. فَفَهَمْنَاهَا سُلَيْمَان So we made Sulaiman to understand it. وَكُلَّنْ آتَيْنَا حُكْمًا وَعِلْمًا And both of them, Dawood and Sulaiman, to both of them we had given the judgment and knowledge. وَسَخَّرْنَا مَا دَعُودَ الْجِبَالِ And we had subjected the mountains for Dawood alayhi salam. يُسَبِّحْنَا to glorify their Lord with him, and not only the mountains, also the birds. And we were the doers. And we taught him the making of the metal course for you. So as to protect you in your fighting. So will you then be grateful? وَلَيْ سُلَيْمَانَ الرِّيْهَ عَاصِفَةً 
and for Sulaiman we subjected the wind blowing strongly. Tajribi amrihi lal ardu lati barakna fiha, which blew moving at its command towards the land that we had blessed. Wa kunna biha alami, kunna bi kulli shayin alamin, and all the things were in our knowledge. Wa man shayatin ma yahusun lahu, and subjected we subjected the satans, the jins, for him. They used to dive for him in the oceans. Wa yamalun amalun dun azalik. And did some other works also beside that. Build very big buildings for him. Wa kunna lahum hafizin, and we were watching over them. Wa ayuba, and mention ayub alayhi salatu wasalam is nada rabba who had become very sick, very sick, very sick. Some skin disease. There were boils over the whole of the body, decaying, putrefied. Then you know there were insects moving in those wounds. So his family, his sons and daughters, they got fed up, left him. In the end, his wife also left him. But then he prayed to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and he remained, you know, sabir and shakir, never complained to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that what you have done to me, whatever comes from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, okay, it's from Him, so I accept it. This should be the attitude of a believer. So when he passed this test, then Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala listened to his prayer and granted him his prayer. Why you by his nada rabbahu? When he called upon his Lord, Anni masani abdur, O my Lord, affliction has touched me. Wantar habur rahimin, and you are the most merciful. Of all who, those who have mercy, you are you have the maximum mercy. It was the appeal. First time na lahu, so we answered his call. Fakashaf na ma bhi min durin, and we removed the affliction with which he was afflicted. Wa ata na hu ahlahu, and we gave back him his family. All the family came back then to him. Wa mislahu maahum another family might be he had. Then married again, and he had another family. Ma'ab mislahum ma'ahum rahmatam minin dena. This is all as a gesture of our mercy. But zikra alil abidin, or this is a admonition for the worshippers. Wa Ismaila wa Idris wa Zul Kifl, and Ismail and Idris and Zul Kifl, kullu min al-sabirin. They were all perseverant people. Now about Zul Kifl, let me tell you that Quran gives this name twice, but rest no knowledge about it. Who he was, where he was born, and which family, lineage, whose lineage, was the progeny of Ibrahim or somebody else? We know nothing from Quran, and we don't have any details in Hadith also. But there is. An opinion of some ulama of India that Mahatma Gautam Buddha, Siddhartha Gautam Buddha, was Zul Kifl because he was born in Kapil Vastu, Kapil Vastu, that you know state of the Raja of Kapil Vastu. He was the son. So Kapil in Arabic becomes Kafil. P P is not there. P or P is not there. It turns into F or Fa. So Zul Kafil. The person from couple, from couple was two, and it is just possible. It's just possible, but we can't be sure about it. Kullu mina sabirin, all of them were from the persevering people. Wad khalna hum fi rahmatina, and we admitted them and made them enter our mercy. In nahum mina salihin, definitely they were from the righteous. Was the noon is zahaba mu'adiban, and the man of the Of the fish, he is Jonah or Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. He left his nation before the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa taala. This is the rule of Allah subhanahu wa taala. When a messenger is sent to some land or some people or some community, and the community has rejected him, but he cannot leave the community or that place without the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa taala. He is stationed there. He is deputed there. He is appointed there as messenger of Allah, 
a representative of Allah. But you know, he got so much fed up with the people and their arrogance that he left without the permission of Allah. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished him. He was swallowed by a big fish, maybe some whale. And for some time, he remained in the stomach of that whale. But then this whale, you know, vomited him out on the shore. And then, he, you know, he recovered. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his repenting and his tawbah and he, his apologies. Zannun is Zahab Mughaziban. And Zannun, Noon means fish. Zannun, the, the man of fish. Recall when he went away enraged. And he thought, Fazanna Allah Naqdir alayhi. And he thought, we could, no, we, we could not have any power over him. Fanada of his zulumat. But then he had to call upon us. In the darkness of the stomach of that fish, that whale. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimeen. There is no God except you, O Lord, O Allah. Glory be to you. Inni kuntu min al-zalimeen. I accept that I was the evildoer. I have committed a mistake. I did wrong. I was wrong in leaving my nation before, without your express permission. And you may, re, may recall that, you know, when the permission was given to the companions by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam to migrate to Medina, he himself kept back at Makkah, waiting for the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radhi Allah ta'ala no, used to ask him, O Messenger of Allah, has the permission come? No. Has the permission come? No. Because he was preparing two camels, feeding them and making them strong so that we have to rush then from Makkah to Medina. So all preparation was done by Abu Bakr. But he kept on asking, has the permission come? And the Prophet said, no. Suddenly then, one moon, at moon, at noon, you know, it's very strange in the Arabian society, nobody visits others' house at noon because they have that talula, they sleep during the noon. But at the noon, high noon, the Prophet came to the house of Hazrat Abu Bakr and told him that the permission has come. And then they started their journey. Fastajamna lahu. So we answered the prayer of Yunus alayhi salam also. And we delivered him from the grief. And in, the, in this manner, this is our rule, that we deliver the believers. Was Zakaria and just mentioned Zakaria alayhi salatu was salam. His story we have just read in Surah Maryam. That was a full section. Here is only two ayat. But Zakaria is nada rabbahu. When he called upon his Lord, Rabbi la tadarni fardan. Oh my Lord, don't leave me alone without a son. Alone. If I die, my name is gone. My dynasty finished. And who will look after the mission of the, the prophetic mission that you have entrusted to me? Who will take it over? La tadarni fardan wa anta khairul warisin. You are the best inheritor. Okay. If I don't have an inheritor, you are the best inheritor. I accept. But it would be better if you give me a son. Fastajamna lahu. So we answered his prayer also. Wa wahabna lahu yahya. And we bestowed upon him a son, Yahya. Waslahna lahu zawjahu. And we cured for him his wife, who had been barren up till that time. But now she conceived and she bore a son. Innahum kanu yusareuna fil khairat. These people, this family as a whole, they were the people who were competing each other in good deeds. Everyone. Wanted to go forward, go forward. You know, this is the a society of the believers. Each one of them wants to do more, more good. Not competing in the worldly things. Well, if he has a big house, I should have a bigger one. No, no, no. The competition is in good deeds, in the service to Allah, in the service for his deen. Who, who goes more, who does more? So that was, Yusari'una fil khairat. 
وہ یادون انا رغبن و رحبا اینڈ دے یوز ٹو کال اپن اس میک دعا ٹو اس اینڈ ان بوتھ ویز رغبن ہیونگ یو نو دیٹ وی شوڈ گیو دم مرسی و رحبا اینڈ فیئرنگ اس آلسو سو دس کالنگ اپن اللہ شوڈ ہیو بوتھ دیز تھنگس یو شوڈ ہیو فیئر آلسو اینڈ ہوپ آلسو ہوپ آف از فرگیونس فیئر آف از پنشمنٹ وکان النا خاشعین اینڈ دے ور ویری ہمبل بفور اس ولتی احسنت فرجہ فرفقنا فیہا من روحنا ناو دی راس منشن از اف مریم سلام علیہ اینڈ دیٹ گرل اور وومن ہو ہیڈ گارڈڈ ہر چیسٹٹی فلی دین وی بلوم ان ہر فرام اور اون اسپرٹ و جالناہا بناہا و بناہا آیت للعالمین اینڈ وی میڈ ہر اینڈ ہر سن سائنس فار دی ورلڈ ان نہاز ہی امت و کم امت ہم واحدہ ناؤ ایز اف اللہ از ایڈریسنگ دیز پیپل ابراہیم نو لوت اینڈ یوز یونوس اینڈ آل دیز پیپل دی میسنجر اینڈ پروفٹس آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ان نہاز ہی امت و کم امت و واحدہ او پروفٹس اینڈ میسنجرس دس از دی کمیونٹی آف یورس اینڈ اٹ از ون کمیونٹی We have made communities separate. This is the community or ummah of Musa. This is the community or ummah of Isa. And this is the community and ummah of such and such Nabi. No. It's all one. You are all one. They were all servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They all believed in one God. They were all sent by the same Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in hazihi ummatukum ummatum wahida. This community of yours is one community. Wa ana rabbukum. فعبدون and I am your Lord so continue worshipping me وَتَقَطْعُوا أَمْرَهُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ كُلُّنْ لَيْنَا رَاجِعُونَ but then they split up their affairs among them and they all will return to us after these people passed away now there were the sects they are the Jews they are the, the Christians and these are such and these are such فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِنَ الصَّالِحَاتِ Now what is the rule with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Whosoever does good deeds, وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنُونَ And the condition is that he should be a believer. فَلَا كُفْرَانَ لِسَعِيهِ So his striving for good deeds will not be rejected or disapproved. وَإِنَّا لَهُ كَاتِبُونَ And we are writing and recording all the good deeds that they are doing. وحرام اللہ قریت نہ لکھنا نہم لا یرجعون اینڈ اٹ از فار بیڈن فار دی پیپل آف اے سٹی وچ از گوئنگ ٹو بی ڈسٹرائڈ فار وچ اللہ کمانڈ از ڈسٹرکشن دی فائنل چسٹائسمنٹ فرام اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ناؤ اٹ از فار بیڈن فار دی پیپل دے کانٹ ریٹرن اٹ ہیز کین ہیو ٹو میننگس دے کانٹ ریپینٹ دے کانٹ گو ٹو اللہ یو نو کال اینڈ ایکسیپٹ اٹ بیکاز ناؤ دی ورڈ آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ہیز آلریڈی کم ختم اللہ علیہ قلوب ہم و علیہ سمر ہم و علیہ افسار ہم رشاوا ناؤ دے کین ناٹ کم بیک سیکنڈلی یہ کہ ونس ڈسٹرائڈ اینڈ گون فرام دس ورلڈ دے کین ناٹ ریٹرن ٹو دس ورلڈ دے آر گون گون بائی دا ونڈ دے کین ناٹ کم بیک حتیٰ اضا فتحت یاجوج و ماجوج دس تھنگ ود دی کمیونٹیز ول کنٹینیو ہیپننگ ٹل سچ ٹائم دیٹ The Gog and Magog are opened, let loose. وَهُمْ مِنْ كُلِّ حَدَبِي يَنْسِلُونَ And you will see them. They will be coming down from every mound. Now who are these Gog and Magog? It's a controversial issue. One thing is sure. Gog and Magog are among the names of the sons of the third, of the third son of Nuh a.s. Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam had three sons. Sam, Ham, Yafis. The progeny of Sam settled because you know where did Nuh live? The area which we, we call today Kurdistan. This is a place where three, four countries meet together. North of Iraq, northwest of Iran, east of Turkey and Syria. And then Russia or the USSR, the Caucasia. 
دیز کنٹریز مرچ ہیئر اینڈ دس واز دی پلیس اباؤٹ آف حضرت نو علیہ السلام اینڈ پیپل اینڈ دیئر از دیٹ ہل لاک یو نو ویئر دی آرک کیم ٹو اسٹے آفٹر دی فلڈ واز گون نا فروم دیئر یو نو دیز تھری سنس وین دے کیم آؤٹ فروم دی آرک سو سام ڈسینڈیڈ ساؤتھ ورلڈ عراق شام اینڈ دی عربین پیننسولا دیز نیشنز واز کال دی سیمیٹک نیشنس ابراہیم واز سیمیٹک ہی واز فروم عراق سیریئنس سیمیٹک عربین سیمیٹک محمد از سیمیٹک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آل دی پروفٹس آف دی اولڈ ٹیسٹامنٹ دے آر آل پروجنی آف ابراہیم دے آر سیمیٹکس نمبر ٹو ہام The progeny of Ham spread to the east and to the west, not downward, not to the south. Iran and India. And on the other side, Egypt and Sudan and some east European countries. This is the progeny of Hazrat Ham. But the progeny of Hazrat Yafis that crossed over the mountains of Central Asia and then they spread to the east and west. So China, Mongolia, رشیا بیکاز امنگ دیئر سنز از ٹوبال اینڈ ماسک ون نیم از ماسک مے بی ماسکو مائٹ ہیو بین یو نو فاؤنڈیڈ بائی دیٹ سن آف یافس سو دیز آر دی نیشنز آف گوگ اینڈ ماگوگ اینڈ دے ور دی پیپل ٹو فار دیم یو نو دیٹ وال واز ڈریکٹیڈ بائی ایز وی وی ہیڈ ریڈ ان سورت القحف بائی ذو القرنین بٹوین دی کیسپین سی اینڈ دی بلیک سی This is, you know, a very broad pass through which these people used to come and plunder the, the nations which were settled in the plains in the, to the south. But then he erected the wall over there and stopped so that they couldn't come and invade. So these are Gog and Magog. And it is in the Ahadis also, in very details, that near the end of this world, near Qiyamah, these nations will be let loose. They will bring havoc to this globe, destruction and havoc. And their final confrontation would be with Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. And even Hazrat Isa would have to withdraw from them to the mountains. They will be so formidable force, you know. They will drink all the water of the sea. The sea of Galilee will go dry because they will, they will drink each and every drop of it. Now this scene... which Quran says, bin kulli hadabi yan saloon, you will see these nations coming down, sliding down from all the slopes. This scene has once happened in history in 1962, when there was a war between India and China. And you know, the reports in the newspapers were, waves after waves of the Chinese soldiers were descending from the mountains, and what humiliation was, had, you know, India had to face at that time a very big defeat, very shameful defeat at the hands of the, because in numbers they are very great, Chinese, and all this area, you know. So they are from the Gog and Magog, and they are all the progeny of Hazrat Yafis alayhi salatu wa salam. Hatta iza futihat yajuju wa majuj. Now this means when that hour will come near of Qiyama or Asara, And these Yajuj and Majuj will be let loose. And you will see them coming down from all the slopes. Maybe the slopes of the mountains of the Central Asia also. And slopes of Himalayas, just as it was in the Nefa in 1962. Slopes of Himalayas and they are coming down. Waves and waves of Chinese soldiers coming. You kill one, the other wave is coming. You, you murder all of them, the third wave is coming. So waves after waves of Chinese soldiers were coming down the slopes of the Himalayans. وَقْتَرَبَ الْوَادُ الْحَقْ And at that time, the promise, time of that promise would come near. وَادُ الْحَقْ But that is of the hour, the doomsday, the day of resurrection. فَإِذَا هِيَ شَاخِزَةُ النَّبْسَارُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And you will find that at that time, that the eyes of the disbelievers would be stopped. staring in terror qalu ya wailana they will say oh, woe to us qad kunna fi ghaflatin min hadha we were heedless of this we were never 
تھاٹ سیریسلی دیٹ دس کین کم ٹو ہیپن دی میسنج آف اللہ فور ٹولڈ بٹ وی نیور بلیوڈ ان دم بلکن ظالمین وی ور ایکچولی دی ایول ڈوئرس ان نقم وما تعبدون من دون اللہ حسم و جہنم بٹ ناؤ نو یوز ناؤ یو ہیو ٹو بی ناؤ ناٹ اونلی یو بٹ دوز ہوم یو ہیو بین ورشپنگ یور آئیڈلس دے ول آل بی تھرون ان دی فائر آف ہیل اینڈ دے ول بیکم یو نو اے سارٹ آف وڈ حسب و جہنم دے آر دے ول بی بلٹ اوے لوکان ہا اولا الحتن ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم دے ول تھنک دیٹ اف دیز آئیڈلس ور گاڈس ماور دو ہا دے شوڈ ناٹ ہیو کم ٹو دس فائر آف ہیل وکل الفیا خالدون بٹ آل آف دیم ول ہیو ٹو لیو دیئر فار ایور فار ایٹرنیٹی لہو فیا ظفیر ان وہم فیا لا یسمعون دے ول بی سائنگ دیئر وتھ ڈیپ سورو اینڈ گریف بٹ دے ول بی ایبل ٹو لسن نتھنگ ان الزین سبقت لہم من الحسنا آن دی کنٹری ویریلی دوز فار ہوم اے گڈ ورڈ ہیز آلریڈی پاس فرام اس آرڈینڈ وی ہیو آرڈینڈ آلریڈی الا اے کان ہا بادو دے ول کیپٹ اوے فرام دس دس جہنم دس ہیل لا یسمعون حسیسا دے ول ناٹ ہیو ٹو ہیئر اونلی ایون اٹس وسپر وہم فی بشتحت انفسوم خالدون اینڈ دے ول ابائڈ فار ایور ان دوز تھنگز وچ دیئر سولز ڈیزائر لا یحزن ہوم الفض الاکبر دس گریٹ ٹیرر شیل ناٹ گریو دیم of zalzala zalzala to saa the next surah is going to begin very soon and the first word is in the zalzala to saa to shay un azim the earthquake at the time of the dooms day would be a very great event but these people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save them will save them the great terror shall not grieve them la yahzanuhum al fadul akbar wa tatalaqahum al malaikatu and Malaika, the angels will come and greet them. Hada yawmukum al-lazhi kuntum tu'adun. Now this day has come, which was promised to you. That is, now you will enter paradise. Yawma natwi sama katayya sijil lalil kutub. Just imagine the day, the doomsday. When we shall roll up, when we shall roll up all the heavens. Just as the rolling of a scroll for writing. You know, in the ancient days, books were not bound like this. They used to be in scrolls. One paper you have written, now paste another one. And you just roll it. And now second you are rolling. Rolling and rolling on, writing and rolling. So these are called the scrolls. Now today we don't have scrolls. To, we have books, bound books, leaves and bound books. But the simile here is, يَوْمَ نَتْوِ سَمَاءَ كَتَيَّ سِجِلْ لِلْ كُتُبْ The day when we shall roll up heaven, Like the rolling up of a scroll for writing. Kama badana awwala khalqin uidahu. As we, have, we had originated them in the first creation, we shall restore it. Vaadan alayna. This is a promise binding on us. Inna kunna faileen. And we shall definitely do it. Now here we can understand there is the theory of expanding universe. The universe is expanding, 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 going on. But then there is a theory, the time will come when expansion will start and inward rolling, reverse rolling will start. And that inverse rolling might be the whole universe again comes to one spot. Just as the galaxies have come to one holes, which we call the black holes, you know, in, in, the, in the space, black holes. There used to be some very big galaxy over here. It collapsed. And now there is only a hole. Very dreadly hole. Everything passing by that goes there and vanishes. So in the same way, this whole universe might become again, you know, it started from one point, the big bang. And big bang, it started expanding and expanding and expanding. But a time will come when it will roll back. And it will again come to the starting point. Kaba badana awwala khalqin waidohu. As we had originated them in the first creation, we shall make them return to the same. وَلَقَدْ قَدَمْنَا فِي الزُّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الزِّكْرِ And we had write, written it down in Zabur, in Psalms, after the admonition. 
ان الارض یر سہا عباد یس صالحون دیٹ دی ارتھ ول انہیرٹ دی لینڈ بائی رائٹ یس سرمنٹس ول انہیرٹ دی لینڈ دی ارتھ now it has it can have two means meanings number one that the the earth here the land here which is mentioned is the land of paradise the land of paradise will be inherited by people who have done good deeds the believers another thing can mean that before the end of this world a time will come that my whole this world will be ruled by the people who are righteous who are servants of allah subhanahu wa taala And to this effect, we have a clear prophecy of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that before the end of this world, Islam will dominate the whole of the globe. لا يبقى على ظهر الأرض بيت وبر ولا بدر إلا أدخله الله كلمة الإسلام. The Hadith in Musnad Ahmad ibn Hanbal uh, from Mirdad ibn Aswad رضي الله عنه that not a single house will remain made of bricks and clay. and not a single tent will remain of the nomads in which allah will not make the deen of allah islam enter this will happen so a global domination of the deen of allah this is khilafa ala min hajin nabuwa and the prophet has said this period will come again the khilafa ala min hajin nabuwa just after the death of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that was the khilafa rashida we know it the caliphate pious caliphate The same system will again be established on this earth. So that this ayah can mean that also. Well, at the time of the Zabur, we had already written in Zabur, in Psalms, after the admonition that the earth will be ruled by the people who are righteous. Right? Meaning, 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 the and islam established as a deen as a social order over the whole of the world or after the end of this world the land of paradise will be inherited by our righteous servants in fi hadha la balagha li qaumin abidin and in this is surely a message for the worshipers who worship us wa ma arsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alamin and we have not sent you o muhammad but a mercy for all the nations of the world this is again a hint because if he has been sent for the whole of the world now his deen which he brought with him must be dominant over the whole of the world huwa allazi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa din al haqq li yuzhirahu ala din kulli he has he was sent by allah subhanahu wa taala with the, this deen of haqq in order to make it supreme So when he has been sent for the whole of humanity and for all the world, so then the Deen of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and that is Deenul Haq, that is Deenul Allah, Deenul Allah and Deenul Muhammad the same, that will dominate the whole of the globe. O Inna Ma Yuha Ilayya Inna Ma Ilahu Kum Ilahu Wahi. Tell them, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, this is being revealed to me. This Wahi has come to me, that your Lord is only one God. Falan tu Muslimun. So do you surrender yourself to him or not? Fain tawallo. If they turn their faces, fakul azan to kum ala sawa. So proclaim that I have conveyed to you the message. Alike, all alike. I have spoken to the rich, to the poor. I have spoken to the high, to the low. I have preached in your streets. I have knocked at your doors. I have talked to you in privately. I have addressed you in public. I have done whatever I could do. Adan to go malasawa. Why in Adri ya kari banu baidu matu adu. Now this I don't know. Whether the chastisement that is promised to you has come near or it is a bit far off. Maybe Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gives you a further respite. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. that chastisement has come to your doorsteps i don't know this is this knowledge is with allah innahu ya'lamu al-jahra min al-qawl he allah knows whatever is spoken aloud wa ya'lamu ma taktumun and he knows what you can see in your hearts he knows everything wa in adri la lahu fa yatlaqun and i don't know i can't say maybe 
اٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی انادر ٹیسٹ فار یو و متعاون الحین اور مے بی این انجوائمنٹ این رسپائٹ فار سم ٹائم قال رب احکم بالحق اینڈ فائنلی دی پروفٹ ناؤ ہی از کالنگ اپون اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی رب احکم بالحق او مائی لارڈ ناؤ گیو دی ججمنٹ فائنل ججمنٹ ود ٹروتھ دیز ورڈس ڈپکٹ دی سائیکولوجیکل پوزیشن آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہی واز آلسو ناؤ فیڈ اپ آئی ہیو ٹیکن مچ پینس آئی ہیو اسپینڈ ٹین الیون ایئرس a small city and i have been preaching here for 10 11 12 12 long years so now oh lord the your judgment should come qaal rabbihkum bil haqq oh my lord now give the final judgment with truth barabbun arrahman al musta'an wa ala ma tasifun and our lord is rahman the compassionate one and only his help can be sought on those things which you are describing about him now the next surah suratul hajj actually these three surahs after as i told you before from surah yunus to this surah al-anbiya these are 12 surahs and subdivided into four sub groups of three surahs سورہ یونس سورہ ہوت سورہ یوسف ون سب گروپ سورہ راد سورہ ابراہیم سورہ ہجر سیکنڈ سب گروپ سورت النحل سورت بنی اسرائیل سورت القحف تھرڈ گروپ سورت مریم سورت الطاہ سورت الانبیاء فورتھ گروپ اینڈ ناؤ الحج اینڈ المومنون دے آر اے پیئر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایو الناس اتقوا ربکم O oh, mankind, have fear of your Lord. Inna zaldalata saat shayun azim. Verily, indeed, the earthquake of that hour, asa, is going to be a mighty thing. You know, this whole solar system will be disturbed. As we have in Surah Qiyamah, this moon will plunge into sun. They will come together. What will happen, you know? So you can't imagine in the Zaldala the Saat Shayu Naseem, all these mountains turned into dust, moving just like clouds or just like cotton or wool. All these mountains, the Himalayas, everything, what will be happening at that time? Nobody can imagine. In the Zaldala the Saat Shayu Naseem, when that appointed hour comes, the shaking of that time would be very mighty, very great thing. Yaw Matarawda. The day when you will see it, تَزْحَلُ كُلُّ مُرْزِعَةِ نَمَّا عَرْزَعَةِ Every suckling mother would just forget the baby. Now this is the most affectionate relationship, mother and the baby. In the human beings as well as animals. But no, everybody would be caring for him and her alone. Even the suckling mothers will just forget their babies. And all the pregnant females will lay down their pregnancy, their burden. And you will see people as if they are drunk. But they are not drunk. But the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very severe. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَيَتَّبِعُ كُلَّ شَيْطَانِ مَرِيدٍ And there are among people who dispute concerning Allah. Although he has no knowledge, they are going. But he has no knowledge whatsoever. Without having any knowledge. وَيَتَّبِعُ كُلَّ شَيْطَانِ مَرِيدٍ And he follows all the rebellious satans. Yani as if he is a very big, you know, scholar and he's arguing against Allah, against Deen. But if you look to his character, he is a friend of Saturn. He's following the ways of Saturn. So these are the people, the scholars, the so-called, you know, intelligence of today. It has been prescribed on him. That is the Saturn. What has been prescribed for the Saturn? من تو اللہ 
ہو سو ایور ول بیکم اے فرینڈ آف ہم فائن نہ ہو یو دل لو ہو ہی ول ڈیفینیٹلی لیڈ ہم ایسٹرے وہ یہ دی ہے الہد آب سعیب اینڈ ہی ول گائڈ ہم ٹو دی چسٹائسمنٹ آف دی برننگ فائر یا یو ہناس او پیپل او مین کائنڈ ان کن تم فی ریبی من الباس اف یو ہیو اینی ڈاؤٹس اباؤٹ ریزرکشن ہاؤ کین وی بی ریزرکٹیڈ ہاؤ کین وی بی میڈ اے لائف اگین وین وی شیل بیکم بونز اینڈ ڈسٹ اینڈ نتھنگ ایلس یو ہیو ڈاؤٹس ناؤ یو لک ٹو یور کریشن یور اون کریشن فائن نا خلق نا کو من تراب یو نو وی کریٹیڈ یو آؤٹ آف کلے سما من نتفا دیٹ دی سیکنڈ اسٹیج آف یور کریشن واس دی اسپرم ڈراپ سما من علاقہ آفٹر دیٹ اینڈ تھرڈ اسٹیج اے ہینگنگ پیس فرام دی وال آف دی ووم آف دی مدر لائک اے لیچز سما من مزغا دین اے لمپ آف فلیش مخلقت وغیرہ مخلقت فارمڈ اینڈ انفارمڈ لے دبئی نہ لکوم سو دیٹ وی ٹیل یو تھرو وچ اسٹیجز یو ہیو کم ہیئر ان دس ورلڈ و نقر و فلرحام مان شاہ اینڈ وی سیٹل ان دی وومز آف دی مدرس وٹ ایور وی لائک اے میل چائلڈ اور فیمیل چائلڈ الا اجل ان مسما وی کیپ اٹ دیئر till a fixed period summa nukhre jo kum tifla then you be take you out as babies summa le tablu hua shudda kum and then you reach and attain your puberty and maturity wa min kum man yutawaffa and from amongst you are those also who die die young wa min kum man yuraddu ila arzal al umar and you some of you are returned to the most senile age like la yalama min baad ilm in shaya so that they, he doesn't know anything after the knowledge he had in the beginning he had no knowledge but then he had the, all the knowledge he attained you know education and he was a phd and this and that but then when he is now 100 years old now all knowledge gone senility has overtaken What happened to Reagan? He couldn't, <laughs> he was recognizing only his wife and none else. A person who was ruling this world at a time. But this happened. So actually, Kaya la yalama min baad ilm in shaya. Wa tar al arda bahar hamidatan. And you see the land, you know, lying low. Fa iza anzalna alayhi al ma. But when we... send down water on it rain comes ah tazzat wa rabat it stirs and swells wa ambatat fin kull zawjin bahij and then it grows every kind of lovely growth so you have two observations your own creation from dust then sperm drop then alaqa then musga all these stages then you come out as a baby then you are young fully adult in the same way a land lying barren nothing no life no signs of life whatsoever rain comes and there is life you see there is vegetation so the god that is doing all this can't he create you again this is the argument which comes in quran many times zalika bi anna allah huwa laq This is so because Allah is the one who is the truth, the absolute truth. One who you will mota, and that He will revive the dead. One who Allah could shed qadir, and that He is powerful over everything. One saat aatiyatul lare bafiha, and that appointed hour will come. There is no doubt about it. One Allah yabasu man fil qubur. And Allah will definitely, surely raise them who are in the gra- graves. Wa min al nas man yujadilu fil lahe bighair ilmin wala hudam wala kitabim munir. Again, repeating the same. But there are people who go on disputing, arguing about Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. How can He do it? Although they have no knowledge, they have no guidance. They don't have any book with them. No divine, no divine book. ثانی عطف ہی لیدل عن سبیل اللہ 
he bends his side with arrogance so that he takes people away from the way of Allah, prevents them from the way of Allah. Lahu fi dunya khizyun. For them in this world is also humiliation. Wa nuziquhu yawm al qiyamat yazab al harik. And on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection, we shall make them taste the chastisement of fire, burning fire. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم